Back in 2007, the Lamborghini Reventone was it. Up until that point, nothing looked like it. Not just as far as Lamborghinis went, with maybe the exception of the Contach, but as far as everything went. The Reventone laid the groundwork for what would not only become the Lamborghini Aventador but for the brand's design ethos, which continues to this day. Only 21 coupes were built, a huge disappointment for 11-year-olds everywhere. A few years later, in 2009, the Reventone Roadster came along. That was even more exclusive, with only 15 built. One of those is up for auction at Bonhams, and it'll surely go for huge money. But we're not here to talk about that. It's a given this one of 15 car will be a 7-figure car once the hammer falls on July 3rd. US buyers can forget it, as this one is registered in Gestad, Switzerland. Instead, we're here to talk about what is surely the ugliest convertible top to ever grace the automotive world. The Murcielago Roadster on which this car is built is similarly offensive in its ragtop styling. We combed our vast backlog of Lambo images and couldn't even find an image of one, presumably because it was so hilariously ugly no writer here wanted it on the site. Richard Hammond famously made a big deal of it on Top Gear when he tested a final year roadster in Dubai. It was almost comedically hard to attach, and required the help of some of the Saudi locals. We imagined the Reventone's roof to be similarly frustrating. Then there's the shape of it. Add a mullet to a Reventone and you've got a Reventone roadster. It was also somewhat shaggy looking and appeared as if someone had left the top out in the rain for a few weeks. Which is a shame, largely because you could argue the Roadster is the better looking of the pair of then futuristic Lambos. Then there's the power plant, which is one befitting of a 1 in 15 supercar. Things were powered by Lamborghini's Bizzarini V12, displacing a massive 6.5 liters and producing an equally massive 650 horsepower. We'll leave the final judgment on the Reventone Roadster's ragtop up to you. Is it the ugliest soft top ever? Or can you think of a worse one? For now, we'll continue to think this is the worst part of arguably the most influential Lambo since the Contach.